to decide to use natural daylight because I feel like I've been liking it more and today's a bit sunny so it is going to come and go but it's just natural lighting so I feel like for this tutorial it will be really nice. I haven't really done anything to my face yet so I'm just going to do my brows quickly. I'm using this Brow Artist Brow Pencil by L'Oreal. This one's in the shade Ebony. Kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Definer. And it does your brows so quickly. It's also very similar to the sleek one. I've used this a couple of times. And I really like it. So those are my brows done. I'm just going to take some of the brow artist plumper. I really, really, really need to paint my nails. Because these close-up of my bare nails are not doing for me. I don't even feel like I need to like carve them with concealer with this pencil. I've already moisturised my skin. So for foundation I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation in Tan. I decided to use this one because it's very dewy. And this will definitely give you like a wet skin look. I'm just going to use my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush just to like blend that in place. adding a bit more product where I feel like I need more coverage I'm then going to use the wet and wild photo focus concealer this one's in the shade medium deep tan Then to set that concealer in place, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and I'm going to grab this shade here. You just need a tiny bit because this is very brightening but I actually like the fact that it brightens underneath the eyes because you know that I like brightening. The only thing is it's got so much fallout when you use your brush with it. So if you can see like this foundation already gives you kind of like an all over dewiness. Um, I mean, I'm going to use the bronzer palette colour in this, in this uh, Wet n Wild palette. By the way, this one's in the shade Caramel Toffee. Um, it's actually really good and I got it off Amazon. I will link it in the info box as always. But um, I'm going to use this to bronze. Um, you can also use like illuminizing bronzers. But I feel like that sometimes with me it's a bit too much. Um, especially when I set everything with like makeup spray. So I'm going to use just a normal matte bronzer. But if you want, you can totally use like something like MAC mineralized skin finish if you want more of like a illuminizing bronzer I'm going to take a bit of the bright the powder and just brighten my forehead. So I know I've already like powdered my face and used powders on my face. But one of the secrets that I have to like having wet looking skin is my Ciate Dewy Stick. So I kind of grab like my Beauty Blender or Real Technique sponge and I just like dab it on the, on the stick. And then I just like lightly press this on the skin. And I know I've used powders already, but it seems to like build okay. Like it doesn't like separate or cake up or like make the powder looks funny, but it just looks really nice. So I just like use this basically like on the highest points. You don't want to go too overboard because like it just gets overly sticky. So just like the tiniest bit is just needed. And just like push it into the skin. There is a balance between I find that it's hard to find the balance between having wet looking skin and still being presentable and having like 
basically looking like you're sweaty or greasy so sometimes it's happened to me where I look legit like I put vegetable oil on my face but like with practice you'll get there like trust me I've had those days where I look really oily but that's because I just really love dewy skin so can you see how it's kind of like made the bronzer funny what I do is I just go back with my bronzer brush and just touch it up slightly I also like to just bring it like a C shape here you can do that if you want I think it looks really nice you can also bring some under your brow bone Kind of like highlights and this actually has like a scent to it if you like dewy skin then you need this product and then finally i'm just going to touch up with a bit of blush and i'm using my primark blush in miscovado just for a bit of color and then the final step is using makeup spray this is another secret to having well it's not a secret anymore but it's something that you need to have if you want like really dewy wet looking skin sorry the light keeps changing it's because i'm using natural daylight and the sun is obviously going behind clouds and stuff but anyways today i'm going to use the nip and fab primer water and i'm just going to spray this all over my face i'm just going to pop on some mascara quickly and do my lips and i'll be right back i do tend to go sometimes like too low in the center here and i feel like this center area like you don't really want it to be shiny because that's what that's what kind of makes you look greasy I'm going to just take more of my powder and just lightly brush that in those areas just so that it's not shiny there also make sure that the center of your forehead isn't too shiny as well and um, the bridge of your nose is okay and also make sure here as well Just brush off any excess powder the clean brush but yeah that's it guys that's basically what I do to get wet looking skin don't know if you can see the, the glow and it's like a wearable natural glow like I feel like when you want wet skin it's not necessarily beaming highlight even though I love that too but sometimes I just want like a natural inner wet skin kind of glow look I hope you guys enjoyed this one and give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you next time bye <laughs>